So for the last few weeks, I've been interviewing some amazing power couples and asking them every question I could think of. But our viewers have been turning the questions back on me. So I thought, who better to help me answer those questions than my other half, my husband, Scooter Ron. I've never called you Scooter, even since our first date. She normally calls me Scott, and that is uh, probably the last and only time she'll call me Scooter, so I will take it, and that was awesome. <laughs> Enjoy it. We got a bunch of great questions from everyone on Twitter, and we are gonna do our best to answer as many as we can. How did you get the guts to strike out on your own? And I think this is actually a perfect question for you to answer, because no, I want you, you really to take did it first, because you, you did as well. When my mom got sick, it was, it was such an authentic and like, raw decision. It was something that I felt I had to do. It was this passion and it was that I couldn't imagine somebody going through what my mom had gone through alone because she had such a strong family to support her and she was emotionally compromised and she was terrified and we were trying to save her life and I didn't want anybody to go through that alone. So it wasn't this conscious decision to, to quit my job and start a movement. It was a responsibility and a need and something I wanted so deeply to do. For me it was very different. It was uh, kind of a guilt of you know grandparents who were Holocaust survivors and you know parents who didn't grow up with much and here I am you know growing up you know with food in the house and means and an opportunity to college education and I just didn't feel like I deserved it so I I did it out of wanting to prove that I could do it on my own and then once I got past that point it was just about wanting to leave a mark wanting to do something significant if you could leave one mark or legacy for our children, what would it be? This is so intense because you did not tell me you are gonna ask that question. <laughs> um, Sneak attack. I think the thing that I wanna teach them more than anything is that the greatest selfishness they can do in the world is give back because it gives you such incredible joy when you help someone else that you should constantly be selfish to a fault and that's why I love this job. That's why I love going out and doing what I'm doing because I feel like I'm making a positive difference. The question is, what is the best thing about your family? Look, we're not talking about it, but it's pretty obvious this family is growing right now. <laughs> There's a lot of people generations before us uh, in our family who went through lots of trials and tribulations so that we could be here. And now we get to pass on, you know, something special to the next generation. And that's the most fun part about being a family. And it makes me feel like a grown up. <laughs> and Let's be honest, I married an awesome woman. I won the lottery. Are you kidding me right now? I think that the best yes. thing about <laughs> our family is um, that we're a team. I think it's awesome that we have fun with each other and that we trust each other and we are validly excited to get to do everything with each other, whether that's like going somewhere amazing or whether that's just sitting on the couch and watching a movie. It's, um, and she's the only person that can get me to do this. So, you know, it's, 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 uh... We have a great family. We're going to have a, a even greater one soon. 100%.